The loss of a resident here in Orchard Manor is devastating to the community. One of his neighbors told me he was a man who always went out of his way to help out. Here's a look at what's left of the victim's home through a neighbor's window. Charred furniture, torch wood and siding peeling from the home, all roped off for an investigation. Inside was Naomi Morrison's neighbor. And he was very, very helpful in the community. He would do anything for anybody. And he's always love to say, Naomi, you need anything? Do you need anything? According to the fire marshal's office, the male victim was the only one home at the time of the blaze. The Indian River Fire Company responded and tells WRDE the victim did not make it out in time. It's, it's sad. Um, I, I just wish there was something that could have been done. The victim was taken to a hospital where Morrison arrived with the victim's parents. We walked in there together, the three of us, and when she saw the chaplain, meeting us because she's a nurse. His mother is a nurse. And she knew when she saw the chaplain coming toward us and the carriers in the room that she knew that he had passed away. Death was not the news Morrison or his family expected to hear. We we're both like shocked, you know, and of course she, we started to cry. And of course it's a natural reaction, holding each other. And uh, she was just saying, oh my baby, oh my baby, because that's her baby. Where the fire started and what caused it remain under investigation. I can still smell the smoke from the fire last night and as you can see the majority of the house is completely destroyed with the damages totaling around a hundred thousand dollars. In Orchard Manor, Chelsea Kerbler, WRDE Coast TV News.